What's up everybody, this is Tony with OMG Droid and today we're going to be taking a look at some near field communication tags from our buddies over at NFC Tags for Droid. They've got two different flavors available now. We have the first up the uh, Mi Fair Classic aka the Round Chip and then we've got the NTAG 203. I'll go over the differences of the two models here in just a little bit but I want to show you what you get in the package first uh, depending on which one you order you get five of either one of these get a nice little keychain and you'll get some stickers that you can put on there as you can see here with some of the ones that I've already got set up that way you can tell what you stored on your chips etc etc now for specifications we'll start with the Mi Fair Classic and the round chip. Get that in focus a little bit better for you there. The Mi Fair Classic is 30 millimeters in diameter, round shape obviously. Uh, it has 1024 bytes of memory of which 752 are usable. As far as uh, standard compliancy, there is none. It's NXP chipset only. Uh, they operate at two centimeters distance, and they are waterproof. They come with this 3M self-adhesive backing. You can stick them where you want to, wherever you want to put them. Um, it is noted that they don't work on metal, so you might not want to stick them to any metal surfaces. Um, now with the NTAG tag 203 here got another 30 millimeters in diameter excuse me 30 millimeters in diameter um, these guys only hold 144 bytes of memory 137 bytes are actually usable so significantly less memory there uh, they operate at the same range two centimeters they're also waterproof and have that same backing on there 3M whoop whoop. Now the biggest difference here, you're probably wondering why would you want to go with the square guys instead of the circle guys. These guys work with pretty much every NFC capable device other than the Nexus 4 or the Nexus 10. So unfortunately if you own either one of those two devices, you're going to want to go with these. And obviously you get a little bit less more storage on here so there's a few less things you can do but they still operate just the same so at least you can get on on the action um, as far as the tags themselves there's not really much to show you so I'm just gonna jump in and show you the NFC task launcher application that I use and show you what these tags do alright now uh, there's a handful of different applications you can use to write to your NFC tags but the one that I like to use because it's the most comprehensive is called NFC Task Launcher. You'll want to go to the Play Store to get that downloaded. I already have it. Once you do too you'll just hit open and it'll tell you how you can get NFC tags if you need them. I still recommend going through NFC tags for Droid, but these guys will give you some free ones to start, so make sure you check out that information. Since I already have some, we're just going to go in there. I'll bring that up closer and let you see. These are some of the profiles, some of the things that you can set up just by tapping one of these uh, NFC tags. It's got a car mode, which will, uh, let's see, it'll activate Bluetooth and Google Maps. We've got an office mode. It'll turn your ringer off and your Wi-Fi on. Um, home, you can turn your ringer on and your Wi-Fi off. Excuse me, your Wi-Fi on. Um, bedside, turns all your volumes down and you can set an alarm automatically. Phone control, you got display, just your brightness, your Wi-Fi connections. Then you got some social stuff down here. Send an SMS, Foursquare. Now those are just the preset things. There's a ton of stuff that you can do 
by going into the uh, you hit that plus button up there go to new tag and if you look through there there's pretty much a setting for everything you can turn your Wi-Fi on or off your Bluetooth airplane mode auto sync yada 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 you can change your sound profiles ringtones all that good stuff uh, your brightness notification light auto rotation display timeout Twitter Foursquare Facebook Google Latitude Google Places you can uh, set it to open applications and you can also make it open an activity in an application which is really nice so say you have Foursquare on here and you want it to be uh, when you tap the chip you want it to bring up your check-in and that's pretty cool that's better than the default one that they have out there in the front because um, that one just checks you into a set place this one actually brings up your check-in screen and lets you check into anywhere that you're around so that's pretty nice uh, we've got alarms we've got events we've got security phone Samsung stuff and tasker there's there's just so much stuff that you can do with this it would really take forever for me to show you an example of each one so I'm gonna leave that to you guys to look it over but for now I'll just go ahead and show you uh, writing a quick tag we'll do it on the Mefair classic all right let me back out there so you can see what I'm doing uh, press that plus button go to new tag rename the tag to whatever you want we're gonna call this one Google Music and this is this would be one that I'd have set for my car um, I use my phone through my headset um, when you plug it in it turns your volume down about halfway automatically so the first thing that I would do is let's see go to media volume sorry for the delay there and turn that all the way up and then I want it to open Google Music for me so we'll go through apps go to open application and then go down to play music now, as you can see it's got two different actions there so I want to save and write now to write all you have to do you can see the tag down there I don't know if you could hear that but tag written successfully so we'll back out to the home screen and all you have to do is just touch your phone and as you can see it opens up Google Music I'll tilt that down a little bit for you I've got a couple more here that are preset I don't remember what I've got them set to but let's take a look on oh, that one opens up voicemail we'll start a call to voicemail I guess it doesn't actually call because I don't have that plugin installed if you go into the Google Play Store you can actually download a plugin that will allow you to place calls or send SMS but I don't have it installed right now so I'm just gonna have to take my word for it Let's see what this one does doesn't want to do anything that's probably a blank one And that one, as you can see there, turned off my volume and it also set an alarm. So, yeah, there's tons of different stuff that you can do here. Just make sure that when you pick up your tags, you get the proper one for your device. Next is four, next is 10, get the square. Everything else with NFC, Get the Mi Fair Classic. N Tag 203, 
Me Fair Classic. Remember that. Thanks again for checking out this review. Stay tuned here on OMG Droid. We've got plenty of interesting stuff coming up in the near weeks and months, so you won't want to miss out on any of that. Thanks again to NFC Tags for Droid for sending out these tags and for being patient while we were getting our site issues worked out and we finally got this review up and done for you. Hit us up on the web, www.omgdroid.com. Peace.